You're watching The Isaiah Factor, Uncensored. And welcome back to the second half of the Factor Uncensored. The dining experience continues to evolve. If you haven't noticed, a lot of more spots out there around town here in Houston have revamped their settings to more of a club like atmosphere. So depending on where you go, you could be sitting down enjoying some food while listening to jazz or hip hop. The vibe dining experience appears to be catching on. Let's talk about it tonight. Our guests are here on the Factor Uncensored tonight to talk about vibe dining. We have Karen Diamond, our social media expert, and of course, Rob Wright, the owner of the very new Swanky Warwick on Westheimer. Glad to have you both here. So, Karen, first of all, lay it out to us. What is vibe dining? Vibe dining is a culture. It is a movement. It is the moment. It is the combination of eating out, but also experiencing the nightlife element, the vibe, the lounge. And so it's a hybrid of both of those worlds. And we have a couple of those businesses here in the Houston area already up and running and they've been running, right? Right. Absolutely. Um, and, and very successfully so. One being, you know, like uh, Chapman and Kirby or Bisu or even the Warwick has a little bit of a vibe dining culture. I think it's a, you know, a place for everything, you know, in this market. However, you have to be careful, you know, because a lot of consumers, when they come out, they truly come out to eat and get cus good customer service. So that can't get lost in the shuffle in terms of the vibe. The music can't be too loud and the hookah's flowing and they're waiting 45 minutes to an hour to get their, their dishes and so forth. So again, there's a place for vibe dining. I'm all for it. Again, a couple of our other concepts, you know, promote that. But this current concept of work is pretty much our focus is on the food. Absolutely. Yeah, Go ahead, Karen. restaurants can separate that, you know, can separate the elements behind a bar where in the bar, you know, that's your vibe dining element. And if you're going for a, a seated, you know, white tablecloth experience, you can make a reservation and dine like a, a normal um, dining experience. And Rob, is it important when you have a fine dining business that you keep the customers moving where they're not just lingering there all night, all day because you can't really get in and get the meal that you want and go home? Right. And uh, typically on our busier holiday type bookings, we typically do two hour seatings just so you, we can turn the tables over to make sure that everybody who's you know, coming to the ward gets the opportunity to experience, get the actual dining experience. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the luxury of allowing folks to come and sit for three, four hours um, because, again, that affects our bottom line. And of course, as a customer, if I go into a restaurant and people are there three or four hours, I'm thinking, why don't you go the hell home? <laughs> you are, <laughs> you're bottlenecking, you're blocking. You can't just stay, you can't live in the restaurant. Why not? But, but some people drinking. want that, right, Karen? Some businesses want that. Absolutely. I mean, if you're spending, you know, four to eight hours straight drinking and you're a consumer, <laughs> then yeah, I think, <laughs> I think what they don't want is the consumer that's like, oh, I'm not drinking and I'm not eating. Please don't just occupy this real estate in my is restaurant. Is there a danger, though, with that, Karen, where people will come just to hang out and not either spend money on drinks or food? There is. I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily, you know, dangerous, but it does happen just because some consumers just aren't are choosing to come hang out. It's their new hangout spot. So I think the restaurant uh, owners and the restaurant tours are kind of, you know, just having to, to toggle with that as a balancing act between, you know, how do we want to promote our venue? Are we an all day brunch, all day drinking? And that's great. But you're always going to get those people that that aren't going to drink heavily and aren't going to eat at all. And how would you best describe the ambiance at the Warwick, uh, Rob? Um, basically, uh, we have the, the aesthetics of the place is amazing. Uh, the food is great. Uh, we try to keep the music at a you know reasonable level. Uh, typically, the music is you know some people may want to call it elevated music. I like you may want to call it watercolors, but typically you know it's just you know just light jazz to keep it conversational, keep it easygoing. 
and just broad strokes in terms of, you know, not offending or not, you know, alienating anyone who comes in here to die. Uh, we're situated, situated right here in the gallery area. Therefore, we cater to a lot of various demographics and want to make sure that everything across the board is consistent. So, again, it's not too, too far to the left, not too far to the right, but right in the middle that we cater to everybody in the city of Houston. And Karen, do you see Vibe Dining here to stay? Absolutely. I think it's only going to continue to evolve, you know, but restaurateurs can just choose to adopt it or choose to just clearly define who they are on social media and push their messaging and just continue to, you know, post about, hey, we're a fine dining experience, you know, we're this, we're that continue to push their messaging out on their channel so that they can set that right expectation for the customer. And if they are an all day drinking experience and you can, they can just say, we're drinking all day, we're brunching all day, it's Sunday fun day all day, and just set that right expectation for the person that's walking through the door. I personally love the Warwick and I think they've done an amazing job at, you know, at, at the dining and the bar element, the cocktail element, love, love everything about it. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored. Good to see you both. Thank, Thank you. you.